Hey guys, and welcome back to my Football Manager Save. This is episode number three, and today I'm going to be showing you the games we had off camera whilst playing Everton in the Carabao Cup fourth round and Derby County in the Championship. First off, let's see how we got on off camera. The first game would be against Blackpool. We did win this game 1 0 from a Dara Lenehan header. And it, apart, well, we did have loads of chances in this game. Yeah, I think we probably could have scored a few more. But overall, the team did play well. The next game was against Coventry City. Nice little build up play. Reese Kadra, who has played really well uh, on loan from Brighton, gets the ball into the box. And it's, it's a bit of a scrappy one. But. Uh, Ross uh, Raggy Castell does get on the end, but then we have a free kick from Harry Pickering and Ayala puts it in. The next game is against QPR. He just saw that that was a strike from Chair, the Moroccan, but they do give it away. And Tyrese Go uh, Dolan, our top scorer, gets. Oh, makes it level. <laughs> but they did actually get a penalty. I didn't, I didn't think it was a penalty personally. Who was it? Andre Gray. Steps up and Kaminsky, the absolute goal, saves the pen. But QPR still uh, do still end up scoring, coming from Ellis Chair, I believe. Another fantastic strike from the Moroccan. But we will get the equaliser yet again with Buckley playing its pickering and Rothwell with a beautiful strike from the Englishman. But it would not end as a draw, as we would get the winner late into the game with Brereton Diaz. Not going to lie, he's been really disappointing. But that goal right there just got us the three points that we needed to push us up even higher into the into the playoff positions. And he, after, after this goal, he did kind of kick on because he had a very, very slow start to the um the season the next game was against reading here and it would be george Pus puskas that would get the opening goal honestly we deserve to lose this game and it was a mess of a goal that we scored with an on goal from their keeper i don't even think we deserve to win that game or we'll even get a point from it the stats tell you otherwise, but we just we just couldn't finish our dinner really. Just really couldn't take our chances. But after that game, our joint top assister did pull his DCL. I was going to say LC, uh, ACL, but DCL. Um, he's out for that entire season. Uh, I do believe this was in training, but uh, because. He, he was fine for all the games. But I am devastated with this. Because he was really kicking on. And if Patterson doesn't really kick on, he could be the successor. He could be like the homegrown talent. But he could also, you know, play on the wings. But this is how we would line up for this game against Everton in the Carabao Cup. we got Kaminsky in there. Ayala, Lenahun as centre-backs. Ryan Ion Bay and Eden as the full-backs. Kadra, Buckley, Travis and Dolan through the midfield. But it's worth supporting Sam Gallagher as the lone striker. Coming into this game, I went with more a, uh, a different tactic, you know, for the weak counter-attack. Because we, we weren't going to beat Everton for possession or through pure tempo. As, you know, they're a Premier League side. And... Obviously, quality is a lot higher up there. But coming to this game, I, I felt like we, we, we didn't really have that much of a chance to win it. You know, we made it quite far. I, I, I'd say we had a um, an easy run. An easy tree, as they say, at this round. Didn't really have that many challenging, challenging um, teams. I think throughout all of our games in the Carabao Cup, we scored more than three goals. As Buckley here to Ayala and Anthony Gordon, who we actually would have on loan in just a few months. 
as he we have a well, we've agreed a loan deal with the young Brit. But there we go. That was all we had for half time. Pretty pretty bone. There there was one chance and that was for Everton. Shane Tolson missed it. Had to just bring on a bit more a bit more playmaker. A bit more of a playmaker. As a pervaded. A bit more fresh legs, you know. And hopefully hold on to this draw. Or even snatch a late winner. Cause I do believe this goes to penalties if we if we draw, yeah. But the substitution will need to be made. It does look like as the we go, Jacob Davport getting him on. Sam Gallagher straight at Pigford, England's number one. But at this point, we really were just holding on for really day life, really. As we we were not looking like we were going to create any chances, we were just holding on, really. And the two and the two changes we would make would be Clarks. <clears throat> excuse me, Clarkson and Van Heck, but we'd actually hold Everton out to penalties and I was feeling pretty confident and this was our probably best chance of getting through to the quarterfinals in the Carabao Cup. <coughs> I just picked the um, the first five penalty takers and then just left the rest because I didn't really think there'd be more than five and if so, just like the <coughs> the players... Uh, decide for themselves you know definitely being our best be, be, our best player so far in this save uh, had Tyree stolen and I was feel, feeling pretty confident of him taking the first one but that is how the first five penalties would line up and, and the first taker would be for Everton coming from Schenk Tossen steps up and puts it past Kaminsky Next up, our best player this season, Tyree Stolen, the young Englishman, and Pigford does deny him of his <coughs> penalty shootout goal. <coughs> As Anthony Gordon, our player in a few in-game months, slots it past Kaminsky, who did save a pen uh, against mm, QPR in the highlights there, but Brereton Diaz, Slots it home against England's number one, the Chilean international, as John Joe Kenny steps up to take Everton's third penalty and does put it past Kaminsky. It's not looking promising with only a few penalties left for us. Steps up is late in Clarkson, the sub that we did sub on, and no run up needed. He just walks up to it and takes it to Liverpool alone, eh? As Tom Davies slots it past Kaminsky. It appears we do <coughs> we do need to win this one. Otherwise we will be getting knocked out of this competition. Jacob Davenport will be the one stepping up. A lot of pressure on the young man's shoulders. And it's straight at Jordan Pickford. Just not really what we wanted. Excuse me. But yeah, we would hold Evan at Everton out for a 0-0 draw. They would get the better of us on the penalty shootouts. But I think we did well to get in that position anyway. But moving on uh, straight away to the Derby County game in the Championship. As I said before, we would start out with Kaminsky, Lenehan, Van Heck, E. Pickering. Nayan Bay, Travis, Rothwell, Diaz, Buttersworth, Dolan and Gallagher as the lone striker. Coming into this game, uh, I think Derby were rock bottom. And, you know, with the points deduction. But they were actually getting some decent um, some decent results against some uh, good teams. As Brad would win the ball, but we would get it back as Buttersworth finds Pickering. To Van Heck. Back to Pickering. And does get a ball into the box. It's a great save by Alsup, the Derby County keeper. And has stopped 
Dolan from getting his 10th of the season, I do believe. Around that figure. As Diaz. Crack from distance. And this is where I say he starts to kick on after that uh, QPR goal, I believe. Really well by the Chilean international. He just took it so well. I think it, was a, it wasn't a one-time, but it definitely was a tough angle. And I've got to be honest, that is a really impressive finish. The man that scored and passes it to Rockwell. He's been brought down and we will get a penalty for that. I don't know who's taking this. It will be Buttersworth, the youngster, to get his first senior goal for Blackburn Rovers. It is Daniel Buttersworth. He will slide it home and make it 2-0 as now we have Pickering. Finds Rothwell and tries for a crack. And what a finish by Joe Rothwell. 3-0 up inside or just over 20 minutes. That is very impressive from the... <coughs> the boys in yellow right now and hopefully we can get a few more just trying to utilize the weak points in derby's defenses we have diaz now gets a ball into the box it's sam gallagher rothwell 4-0 is incredible in the first half 4-0 first half i don't think we could have had a better first half in this game and with that we have secured the three points in the first half alone. But we do get a fifth with Patterson's ball to the youngster that I literally sub on a minute before. As it was Gilsman. Honestly, this guy is a nobody. Um, our squad death was terrible. Well, it is terrible. And all of our players were knackered. So I, I call this guy up to the first team. Uh, he's in the reserves playing and all that and he gets the goal which is so impressive from a, a, a youngster but that would be to get uh, today's episode guys i hope you did enjoy that one we will we'll be coming back for um preston preston derby yeah we'll come back for the preston and bournemouth games so that should be fun uh so we'll be playing what four games off camera but i hope you did enjoy that one uh today guys and we will see you in the next one in a bit